Michelle here. I'm a big proponent of journaling, but you think, oh, well, that's just keeping a diary. I never could do that. I tried when I was growing up, I got one of those little diaries with the little key and the lock on it and did a few pages and that was that. And what's the point of all of that? It just seems like something to add to my to-do list. Well, for most people, myself included, journaling is invaluable. It is something that you can rely on for the rest of your life to help you stay on track, to help you stay clear, have clarity, and be able to process everything to where you keep in touch with yourself and what's right for you so you can keep healthy boundaries and be there for everyone else too because whenever you're in touch with yourself it's less messy you'll know where you stand who you are what your boundaries are when things arise you'll be able to address them because you have clarity and you know where you stand and if things come up that are, are not clear to you journaling is a way to get clear again and get to the truth when I first started journaling, it was kind of mind blowing for me because what was coming out on the paper was th stuff that I had suppressed and was suppressing and was not consciously aware of. And we can do that without knowing it because of coping mechanisms that we use to preserve ourselves during childhood and young adulthood, we got into patterns where we may have self-abandoned, self-neglected, and denied our feelings and our truth in order to keep the peace and get by and do what we thought we were supposed to be doing, what we had become accustomed to, and were, I guess, shaped and trained to do. So when I started journaling, all this truth started spilling out and I'm like whoa that's this is what it's not like it's not registering in my mind and everything but it's coming out on the paper and so I began to integrate my truth and reconnect to myself and to my actual true feelings instead of that disconnect where I compartmentalize everything to get along to keep the peace to survive so journaling is invaluable in connecting the dots, reconnecting to yourself, reestablishing your relationship with the true you, the essential you, the, your core self, you, where you get back in touch with your spirit, your soul, and your actual true values and what you really feel in it so that you can have boundaries because if you're suppressing and denying then you don't have boundaries because you're being dictated by the world what to do to get by but whenever you reconnect with your truth then you connect with those emotions that are there there to help you and guide you to where you are honoring what you truly feel and think and journaling did that for me it also helps you release all of these things that you're suppressing in a healthier way instead of maybe getting triggered and then exploding from holding it all in. You can get it out through writing and you express yourself that way. It's a really healthy, healing, therapeutic way to express yourself in your truth. And so... I know it seems daunting to begin with, oh, you know, writing something every day. Well, you can just start small, start with one page, one page a day, every other day, whenever you think of it. And then eventually you get into a habit where you miss it if you don't do it. Um, I started off where I would do three pages a day because the Artist's Way book by Julia Cameron suggested this. It's called The Morning Pages. And I would do that and you would just, I would just write Whatever came to my mind, just anything, that it didn't matter how trivial or just whatever came to mind. And that's how you begin. And it is so helpful. I can't recommend it enough.
and that's why I still journal and I've been doing it for over a decade and thank y'all for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.